Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode, well, our defense against the Jihad here has been going just fine, but the big news, I guess, is that the predecessor here, our former Emperor Murray the Hammer, died, or more accurately, was murdered on the orders of Duke, Lew Duke Ewan the Spider of Lothian, which... Um, Definitely is pretty bad. Uh, he even liked us at the time. I don't know why he was um, using his intrigue focus against us specifically, but uh, there you go. So we're now Emperor Ishtun, who is a much worse character. Still though, the Jihad goes pretty well, so at least we have that. Uh, let's unpause here and continue getting our ticking war score. which uh, should carry us to victory. We'll fight any other battles that are necessary as well. Uh, oh, something else. Um, when I was watching back the previous video, or the video before maybe, uh, I was talking about the Kingdom of Poland and how it was unlikely that they were going to have a regency and we weren't going to get a chance to press our claimant's weak claim when they were and indeed still are actually in a regency right now. So uh, we will definitely do that at some point. Um, I don't know whether the Regency from being in hiding, though, will really give us a good opportunity. I don't know if you can just, you know, come out of hiding immediately and end our war, but we'll see, I suppose. In fact, maybe we could afford to do that even while the Jihad is going on, though. We'd have to run it by the Council, and they probably would not actually uh, sanction it. Also, we have raised levies right now, so we'd have to lower them first which I don't think is really a good idea. So we'll just wait. Oh, the defensive pact opposing us has been disbanded. That's nice. Uh, let's not take attrition here. And you just come back to the coast. And the votes for succession have probably settled down by now, so let's see what's going on there. So people are pretty solidly voting for Dermot, it looks like. In both cases. Well, at least they're voting for the same person, even if it's not a great character. Really, there's better people available. Godfrey here would be okay. Sholto. Not great uh, diplomacy, but otherwise pretty good. Mary uh, used to be our chancellor for a long time, I think, a daughter of our previous character. Not the immediately previous character, but one of them. Oh, I guess she's a bit too old for us. Uh, we'll just leave Dermot in line for the moment. Uh, I may as well just vote for him. Well, let's vote for one of the other people. Like Godfrey. since our vote apparently is not going to make much difference anyway. So the Fatimid army has reappeared up here and is trying to resiege that county. So we should probably do something about that. Arrange matrilineal marriage. Um, your heir and my cousin. Oh, okay, I suppose so. Alright, let's uh, bring some troops up by boat, I think. Don't want to let that siege happen. So our kinswoman here is curious, timid, and an idolizer. Uh, pretty good for learning, I guess, so... That's what we'll do. Okay, our Duke of Aswan is even happier. Should be no problem with this battle. I've noticed my Marshal's hard work and everyone seems to like him. I am deciding between having my Marshal heighten the morale of troops or try to recruit more soldiers. Eh, let's just go for levy size. 
Okay, up to 70% there, and we actually just obliterated the army, which is nice. So, not much to worry about at this point, I think. Our victory is pretty well assured. We'll keep an eye on it anyway. I guess we should probably maybe consider going to siege something. Siege is capital, we could speed things up a bit. You have discovered a plot where the Duchess of East Anglia seeks to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of England. Please don't do that. So uh, our heir is actually her husband, as it turns out. Okay. Good to know, I suppose. We'll just land over here and... Mm, low supply limits. Oh, we'll land there for the moment anyway. King Lars has inherited a barony, okay. Ooh, and we actually see a reasonably sized army down here, 11,000. We'll see where they are headed to. We have a peasant revolt down here, okay. But peasant revolt in Essex as well. Alright, so can you take care of this? Should have just about enough troops to do so. And Essex is under our Duke of York, I think. Is it? No, he's a direct vassal of ours, so we may have to do something about that. Um, I was going to... Let's see, this is in Bedford. I was going to usurp this duchy at some point. Uh, let's actually do this now. And we'll grant that to York. Which will give him Essex as a vassal. So now maybe he'll take care of that for us. I was going to do that anyway, it wasn't just to save myself the trouble of taking care of this peasant revolt. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll appoint you as a commander. And we see 2,000 troops over here. I'll take about half of you. We're going to get there in time to catch you. We are not, but that's actually okay. We'll just continue on to his capital. And our other 12,000 can come down here. Attack this army. Meanwhile, we should keep an eye on this 11,000. Oh, I guess we ran into some uh, more troops over here, which I didn't even know were there, but that looks like a pretty good battle anyway, so no harm done. Up to 80% at this point. Uh, we won't be able to capture... The Caliph himself. I'm sieging that. Headed over here, maybe, to try and fight my armies? Okay. And no nearby mountains, it looks like. Move you into this county. Just going to take attrition through here, which is absolutely fine with me.
Alright, so that's uh, one revolt taken care of. Thanks, I assume, to the Duke of York. Um, no, not educate. Execute. So you are down to 9,000. Yeah, you're still coming in to attack me here? Okay. Feel free. We have decent commanders in charge already. Our other revolt is also getting taken care of, which is good. Now he changed his mind wisely. Alright, 85%. Matrilineal Betrothal. Oh, he has a new heir. I guess this was the previous heir? Okay. Died of pneumonia. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll accept. Why not? To try and siege something here, but I'm not too concerned about that. It's outside the Kingdom of Jerusalem, so it won't reverse our ticking war score. Offer to join war from the Kaiser. A little late to the party there, Your Majesty. I don't think Your Majesty is probably the correct form of address for Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire. Your Imperial Majesty, perhaps? Your holy imperial majesty. With your very shiny hat. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I guess... You can be the commander. We're up to 99%, so... Ticking war score will get us there almost immediately, I'm sure. Unless this battle is worth a lot. And it ends before the... Tick, which it did not. So let's just enforce our demands. We're gonna get... Piety, prestige, moral authority. Allah, it seems, does not favor the Muslim faithful after a string of defeats and setbacks. Caliph has called off the jihad for Jerusalem. Pathetic indeed. So we are now known as the Hammer. I think the third emperor in a row to be known as the Hammer. Which apparently is the reward for successfully defending against a jihad. Right, so let's disband our troops. Um, we could consider keeping the mercenaries raised, but I don't think that's necessary. And we'll just see if we have any dangerous factions popping up now that we've lost the opinion bonus, which we do. Everyone's very annoyed. You want a seat on the council and you want the Kingdom of England. Duke of Kent. Northumberland and the Isles. Mostly the English Dukes and I assume mostly because of us holding on to the Kingdom of England. So it might be time to get rid of that. Uh, let's see though, we could definitely improve your opinion by pressing your digital claim on Bedford, which you have by virtue of the duchy title we just granted you. So... That's fine, but it doesn't immediately solve our problem. We could give him a seat on the council. A steward, maybe. Oh yeah, well, Duke, uh, you and the spider definitely does not deserve a seat on our council. So, that seems like a good idea. Uh, Duke of Man is actually better at the job, but... He is not powerful. Then you to collect taxes, so... That uh, reduces the elective succession faction, but... The council power faction is still dangerous. Probably largely due to our King of Galicia here, who is angry because of not being on the council, mostly. So we do have an advisor position available, I think. 
which we can give to him. Uh, appoint Counselor, Advisor. So you're up to 41. Do you leave the faction? You do. Actually, still almost dangerous. Uh, let's see. Alright, Duke Marcus of the Isles, I want you to not have a duchy in Scotland and England because it's going to be very annoying when we go to give out the uh, kingdom title because either we are going to have the Isles become part of England or we're going to have Northumberland not be part of England. So we might have cause to revoke one of those if we can plot. No, I guess not. Let's see. I wonder if we have cause to arrest him. We do? Okay. Maybe we'll try to do that. Only a 33% chance the council's in favour. Uh, we'll try this. Um, hopefully he... does not get arrested and rebels against us, which would give us cause to revoke one of his titles. Excellent. Alright, so now we fight him. Probably not getting any levy from our King of Galicia. I guess he has a couple of revolts going on right now. Alright, we'll do without it, I suppose. But we have some domain troops down here because I still own this county. That's fine. In fact, we'll raise a few more down here. In fact, we won't raise a few more down here because basically all of the English dukes are already angry, so we'll probably avoid doing that. Now that I think about it. In fact, maybe our 10k here is going to be just enough. All by itself. Oh, and our Duchess of Alexandria has declared a holy war on the Caliph, so we obviously weakened him very significantly. And that Jihad, if she thinks she can take another duchy from him. Let's see. Duchess of Alexandria and she's going to take this duchy, which I'm perfectly okay with. I think we'll just head down here and attack his army. which has worked out well enough. As a reigning emperor, I rarely have any spare time, but for my little daughter, Gruch, I would move heaven and earth. Isn't that nice? Oh, it would also be nice if we were to capture the duke himself in this battle, but we apparently did not. We did capture a mayor, though. Let's head north and try to fight his other army. After years of careful planning, this dude in the court of the Prince of Galicia has raised a large army of exiles, etc. to press his claim on the Kingdom of Lithuania. Okay, good luck with that. Uh, speaking of claims on kingdoms, I did mean to have a look at Poland as soon as we were out of that war, but our chance is not over. King Lars as well is still stressed and is only getting older. And his heir is still only five, so there will definitely be a regency there. I'm going to capture the bishop. Collected a tithe, which is nice. Alright, up to 59%. Maybe we'll head into his capital at this point. 
not too close to being able to assault this, unfortunately. Some free technology. Alright, I think we'll just uh, stay here and siege this. Should be able to do that before he can siege that. Should be worth some good war score. We might capture family members as well. Uh, King of Norway wants to marry my courtier. Former wife of our kinsman, Oscar. Sure, why not? Alright, I'm gonna leave... this many here and... head over to attack his army just to make sure he doesn't get that siege done. This guy is off to press his claim on... The Duchy of Satakunta. Over here, I see. Well, good luck. Now you can appoint you as commander, and we have a kinswoman who needs an education focus. She is fussy and rowdy. Let's see. Fussy is good for intrigue, but rowdy is bad. I guess we're going with Marshall then. Okay. This guy was ransomed from the Aztecs. Which I guess we're hearing about because I have the Aztec Emperor set as special interest. We'll just follow you southwards, I guess. Alright, so that's that army taken care of. And uh, let's just go here and maybe siege another county, if we even need to. We'll see how much war score we get from the siege of his capital. I think that's relevant to us. And uh, more tech points, you're too good to me. So this marriage is gonna happen, we accept. raising more troops down there, but we're not too concerned about that. Should be ending pretty soon. Up to 95%, unfortunately not quite enough. Though so maybe we'll get the additional 5 by fighting his army? But we're not going to get any war score for that because there's a neutral army involved. Okay, well we should be able to finish this war pretty quickly in the next episode and then hopefully declare war almost immediately on Poland. Uh, for now though, thanks for watching and join me again then.